This best-selling author is getting some terrible reviews, not for something she wrote, but for hoarding Hatchimals, the hottest toy of the holiday season. I had no idea how desperate people were to get these for their children. Sarah Gruen wrote the novel Water for Elephants, which was turned into a movie starring Reese Witherspoon and Robert Pattinson. Do you have any idea how hard it is to break in a new act? Gruen says she spent more than $23,000 buying up 156 Hatchimals. Then she sold them all online for a 20% markup. I sold out in four days, and I think I made an average of 30 per Hatchimal. Now Gruen is taking heat from people accusing her of hoarding. I have a friend with a special needs child, and all he wanted was a Hatchimal, but they're sold out. People like Sarah Gruen make me sick, goes one social media comment. Others are defending Gruen. Hey, that's the free market in this country. I'm not surprised that there is such a backlash here because this is such a popular toy and toys are for children and people are very sensitive about this. It's holiday time. People want to get that hot toy for their child. Toy stores like this one in Manhattan have been sold out of Hatchimals for weeks, but there is hope. The manufacturer is stepping up production and says they'll have more on the shelves in time for Christmas. Now check out this scene. Cops outside Baltimore returning packages that had been stolen from front porches by a pair of thieves. Police say they found more than 70 purloined holiday packages in the back of the van and took pleasure in playing Santa, returning all the gifts. So how can you prevent packages from being stolen from your front porch? There are lots of ways to prevent package theft, especially around the holidays. So you can require a signature when you're getting your package. You can sign for it, you have it in hand. You can also request that it be shipped to work, shipped to your local post office, or your local shipping store. And going back to the writer who was selling all those Hatchimals at a markup, she says it was all for a good cause, all to raise money for a man in prison she believes was falsely accused.